Morning Kids, my name is Melissa and I'm so excited that I get to spend this Sunday with you. Are you ready to hear our big point for today? Are you really ready to hear it? Here it is. Our big point today is knock and the door will be open to you. Yes, in case the last couple of weeks we've learned more about the Sermon on the Mount and one of the things that Jesus taught about was all about prayer. Jesus taught us to ask, to seek and to knock. In today's Bible story, Jesus tells us the story about the persistent widow and an unfair judge. The Bible story is found in Luke 18, verse 1 to 8. And this is what the story is all about. The story starts off with a widow. Now, she's a widow because her husband has passed away and she is all alone and there's no one that can protect her. Now, she was being treated unfairly, so she went to the judge. Now, this was a very unfair judge. He didn't care what people thought of him. He didn't care about what God thought. He only cared about himself. Now, this widow, she went up to the judge and she's like, Judge, please help me. Someone is treating me unfairly and I need your help. You know what the judge did? He said, I'm not going to help you. And he sent her away. She came back the next day and she was begging him, Please listen to me. I need your help. Someone is treating me unfairly. Again, the judge said no, and he sent her away. She came back the next day, and again, she was pleading with him. She's like, listen to me. Someone is treating me unfairly. I need your help. Again, the judge did not want to listen to her. She came back the next day, and the next day, and the next day, and many more days to come, till eventually the judge got so fed up with her coming, he said, I will grant her what she's asking for, because who knows what she'll do if I don't listen to her request. Now, you'll say, kids, God is nothing like the unfair judge. When we call out to his name and ask for his help, he doesn't delay and he helps us right on time. Today's big point is knock and the door will be open to you. Have fun doing the big word dance. Girls and kids, can you remember our big point? It is, knock and the door will be open to you. Do you have your notebooks ready? How about your Bibles? I've got mine right here. Today, we are going to be looking at two points together. And our first point is this, pray continually and do not give up. In today's Bible story, the message that Jesus wanted to bring across was quite clear. He wants us to be persistent like the widow and knock until the doors get open for us. Jesus is telling us that if we pray continually, God is not like the unfair judge and he waits until forever before he answers our prayers. God actually answers our prayers right on time. He doesn't shrug us off and tell us to come back later. When you pray, God hears your prayers immediately. Heels and kids, Jesus is actually cheating teaching us that when we ask, it shall be given to us. When we seek, we will find. And when we knock, the door will be open to us. It's a reminder that when we pray, God hears our prayers immediately. He doesn't send us away, but He hears it immediately and He tends to our needs. Pray continually and don't give up. 
even if it's been even if it feels like you've been praying the same prayer forever don't give up at the right time god is going to answer your prayer pray continually and don't give up are you ready for point number two point number two is this god answers our prayers now a fun fact about me your son kids is that i love to read and i have this bookshelf at home on my top shelf it's all of my bibles then on my second shelf, it's all of my books that I've read. Then on my third shelf, it's books that I still need to read, but I also keep some journals on there. And as I was looking for a specific book to read, I came across some of my old journals. And you know what I found? I started to read through it. And in here, I've written many things. I've written stuff that I'm believing for, things that I've been praying for, and things that I would love to learn about God. I wrote it all down. But I didn't just write things down that I was believing for myself. I also wrote things down that I was believing for others. And you know what I found in these pages, Yilson Kids? I actually found God's faithfulness. Because when I read what I wrote long time ago, I actually realized that God answered every single one of my prayers. And one thing that is cool, he didn't just answer my prayers. He also answered those prayers that I was believing and standing in faith with, with my friends. Did you know that you can actually pray with your friends? It says this in the Bible, in Matthew 18 verse 19, it says, I promise that when any two of you on earth agree about something you are praying for, my Father in heaven will do it for you. You might be wondering, but what does that mean? It means that when you're at church, you can actually grab one of your friends and say, come pray with me. I've got this specific thing that I'm believing God for. Won't you stand in faith with me? It also says in Ephesians 6, verse 18, never stop praying, especially for others. Always pray by the power of the Spirit. Stay alert and keep praying for God's people. Nielsen kids, when you are praying, are you just praying for your own needs or are you praying for those around you? You actually have the power and authority to stand in faith with your friends. So why don't you make a point this week to actually come together and pray with your friends? Because you know what? God answers our prayers. Can you remember our big point? It is, knock and the door will be open to you. Why don't you stand up and we'll pray together. Father God, thank you that we got to learn more about prayer. We ask that as we continue to pray each day, that you will come and answer our prayers. Help us to not only stand in faith for our own needs, but for those around us. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Trusting you have better plans I haven't even dreamt of yet I know that you will follow me When everything's against me I put all my hope in you Jesus, I will trust you
Heels and Kids, for the last three Sundays, we learned all about prayer. We learned that we can speak to God anywhere, anytime, whenever we like. We learned that we can speak loudly when we pray. We can speak softly. We can even whisper and He hears us. But today, I want to give you the opportunity to pray, pray one of the most important prayers. If you have not made that decision yet to give your heart to Jesus and you would like to do that today, it will be my great honor and privilege to pray this very special prayer with you. And if that is you, why don't you stand up and put your hand above your heart and we'll pray this prayer together. Dear Lord Jesus, today I ask you to come into my life and be my best friend. Forgive me of all the things I've done wrong. I believe you are the Son of God and that you died on the cross for my sins. Help me to love you and live for you every day. Because of Jesus, today I am a Christian. Amen. Amen. 